everybody, Tim Rawson here. I want to go over one little piece of equipment that's in my bug out bag that uh, is a great fallback. So just in case you run out of all that ammunition, uh, you still have something to bring down game and protect yourself. And this is a survival bow. It's the X Spectra. And um, it's a 55 pound uh, pole bow once it all is put together. But it goes together with no tools in the field. That's it. You just slide that into the groove on both sides. You've got your bowstring here. It also comes with a carrying case and three arrows. Um, that can this also acts as a quiver. It'll carry probably up to a dozen arrows. Only thing that you might want to do differently is put some two-sided Velcro just to make sure that your bow components are all locked in. They're really nice. Um, but I'm gonna string this up and uh, take it for a test ride. And see how we do. Quick, pretty easy. Let's go shoot this thing. Bad for a shot. Let's see what good group we can put together. It's pretty good. That's really impressive. For a little bow that uh, got put together in less than two seconds, can be really compact, it weighs nothing. All in the back of your pack. It's a definitely must have in my book. All right, so this is for the real beginners uh, on how to shoot a bow. Obviously, you're gonna take this in the middle, middle of your grip here. You knock your arrow, or basically put the arrow on right in there, and it'll clip in there pretty good. Right in the very center, there's a little piece of uh, felt. That's what you're gonna line it up. And make sure when you line this up, it doesn't go like this or doesn't go like this because that's going to mess up your shot. You're going to make sure that it's nice and square, right? Take your two fingers, pull it right on the outside. I put three, just makes it easier to pull. Some people do two. I'll do three. And you're going to draw that back. As you draw it back, you're going to put it to your cheek. Right when, it, for me, right when I touch the cheek, I'm already lined up on my target. Then just let it fly. Be the arrow, right? That's one dead bunny. Food on the table. It's that simple. Do that about a thousand times and then you're gonna be good. All right, this is about 50 feet. It's probably the longest shot I would take as a survival bow. Dinner's on the table. Just so it's not just luck. Right in the middle, baby. Every time. All right, so let's see what kind of penetration this would be. Put my finger right here. So we've got about four inches in this really super condensed, compact uh, hay bale here. Another four inches. And it's at 50 feet, it's about five inches. And when went in six, it was on the side. It's a little stiffer in the middle. About five inches. Imagine that going in you. This could put you down for sure. These are just little practice tips. But the cool thing is I could take this off, put on a broad head, you know, razor blades on each side. So. In the scheme of things, I tell you what, this is an ancient tool, but it will save your life. For me, if I have that target of opportunity pop up, that rabbit, I'd much rather take it 
with this bow than I would with my gun. It's quiet, it's effective, I can use these again and again and again. And if I ever lost them, I can make them. I know how to make an arrow from nothing. As long as I still have this bow, fantastic. If I lost this string, I could use paracord to be able to replicate this string and still have an effective weapon. Um, so for more tips, please tune in to timrawlsonlive.com.